Hi, welcome back to Commander Speedy's channel. Here I'm um, returning to Elite Alpha 4.3 before um, the release of the beta basically. Um, I'm going to return here because I want to try out and show you um, the Anaconda basically, which is a beautiful ship and uh, certainly a pleasure to fly. So. Um, I thought I'd go and show it to you. It's a bit of a spoiler for those that haven't seen it yet. So, if you're not interested, please avoid it by like the plague this video. And here we're going to go. I'm going to go and buy an anaconda. Yes, that's nearly four million credits. So thank God for the hacks. <laughs> so, um, what's really good about this is purely um, it's large. It's it's um, can hold, I put a lot of weapons on it and um, it just is a bit of a pleasure to fly actually um, it takes a bit of getting used to it first so here we go uh, we've seen the ship from the um, single player missions in the past and also in the mining areas so the ship's not new to players flying around it's just actually uh, taking it over and uh, controlling it it's good fun so here we go the ship so if I go in first of all, let's go and see how big, because I haven't actually gone to check the cargo space. So it's 228 units, so it's a little bit less than the, uh, well, almost half, I guess, of the uh, blacken that um, I showed in the previous video. I'm not going to worry too much about trading. Uh, or is it worth me trying to go between some things? Again, I'm not worried about the buying things, but yeah, let's... Oh, there was only one. Go buy some fish. So yeah, if you notice, there's not a lot left in the space station. So it's obviously been um, <laughs> someone's done a run on it. I think. Okay, so I've put some stock into my machine. Let's go to outfitting, let's have a good look around the ship. So there's quite a few hard points here. So starting with the one underneath, class six. Ooh, there are some stealth lasers. This is what people have been talking about. I wonder what they do then. Um, and unfortunately the beam lasers isn't working properly in the Alpha right now so they're not really worth buying so um, yeah let's go for some stealth so as this is a class 6 I'm going to put a fixed pulse laser this is it class 4 I'm going to stick a couple of stealth lasers on Not my favourite weapon because I like to normally have a um, gimbal mounted. Uh, and I need at least uh, one multi cannon on here. And then there's lots of utility mounts that you can buy if they're available. So we'll have one of those kill warrant scanners. We'll have a cargo scanner so you can equip your machine here your ship as you require the important thing is to go out and actually fly this thing yeah so we've got a full full weapons load out we need to go and make sure you remember to do your fire groups I'm just going to fire everything. And I'm going to set these to my secondary weapon. Okay. So we might as well go and fly somewhere. 
Um, at the moment in the Alpha you can only buy this ship from the LP98132, i.e. The, the Anarchy area, so <laughs> it was always fun getting hit. So, let's get this big mother ship out. And as I explained in the previous video, my mappings are still the same on the video, on the control, that when the landing gear is down, I've got the button on my T-thruster that's on the back of the joystick that allows me to fly vertically. And as you see, it's like a massive battle cruiser is how I would describe it. Um, if the Lacan's a space cow, then this is definitely more of a frigate. <laughs> It's certainly a fit. it just feels massive. However, it has a lot more manoeuvrability than a Lacan. It 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 certainly rolls around quicker, it moves better. Now we have to remember the um, cockpit you're seeing. In fact, let me just bring my mouse into the window control because I haven't given you a shot all the way around. But basically, the cockpit is a three-man. A fair. As you imagine, most of the ship is actually below us, and the cockpit is actually above, and hence that strange feel and look to the ship at the front. Then we'll go to the left, there you go. You've got the control panels. And I've just lost control, I'm sorry, that's my mouse coming out. So let's leave the space station, I've only got three minutes to. So what we need to do is make sure that we remember to um, keep the front of that, that nose basically lower <laughs> than the height of the, uh, the gap. Apparently these green light stuff shining above us, I wasn't aware of until it was pointed out in one of the videos, that they do flash red and green. So I think they are there to help us from flying out the dock. As you'll see, we're flying out quite comfortably. And we're out in space. Woohoo! With no pips to um, the shields. I'm just turning off my gear. So, again, the ship has a, another new noise to it. A nice boost. Turn on the weapons. Look at all those weapons. Woo! So we need to go somewhere that we can have a fight. <laughs> so do I want to go and have a battle with this thing or do I want to go and do a space jump? Let's go do a space jump. Oh yeah, got my weapons out, I'm not allowed to do that. Go back to the Silas Primus. Actually, it'd be quite good to go and dock this thing and show you how to bring her into the space station as well, but also to have a look at the weapons. Still love the hyper jump. It is just beautiful. Going off and selecting Beagle 2. Becoming quite familiar with this, these five planets now. Nearly as um, familiar as Lave and all the, uh, the original planets in, in, in uh, the original Elite. Gonna miss the, uh, be, uh, the Alpha when it goes into Beta. Because I'm sure things will hopefully, or maybe not, hopefully some more star systems will open up the number of extra players joining in. I think that's what this game now lacks in this alpha. Lots of people moaning that it's um, not a lot to do, but at the end of the day, there are only so many star systems you can fly to. And I think that, that would, by opening up some more stars, 
people would fly more the routes than jumping around to see what what value it, there is out there to um, trade in. I think we fight, feel quite constrained at the moment. Oh, interesting thing is you can go silent running, as I'm just pressing there. So you can be silent running in um, Super Cruise, which is, I don't know whether it makes any difference or not for um, the interdiction from other, uh, from other sucking you out of um, your Super Cruise and back into normal speed. I need to go and check the forums, have a look. ships I still think I prefer the Eagle certainly the Eagle will be the one that I'll aspire to getting into early on I just want to bring my super cruise in carefully so I don't end up being pulled out early of super cruise so just flying around the planet oh here comes our interdiction Marvellous, that's going to be the cops. The first thing you do is when you jump out of the Super Cruise, I tend to put the engines on maximum, get your weapons deployed, and get looking for whoever's coming in at us. It's bound to be the cops. But if not, we'll have a bit of a fight. service. Let's get it nice and close to them. We've got nothing to worry about, we've got nothing illegal in here. Let's follow him up. That's what I love about this game. Close encounters with some cops. Why not? Stop messing around. Let's get back into Super Cruise. interesting to find out if they um, the cops scan you with uh, legal if you've got legal things on you whether um, they make you jettison them to allow you to leave or whether they just take you out quite interesting to find that one out oh I'm coming in far too hot yeah didn't want to do that so I'm going to have to little skirt around the outside
That was a bit of a mistake by myself. I hadn't kept an eye on the speed of the ship. No big biggie, no major disaster. Here we go, we can now safely disengage. You could have done an emergency disengage, so you could have double clicked to the supercruise there and you would come out and you'd just be more kilometres away from the space station. So you could then fly to it. So there's an argument there as to whether you want to do an emergency one or just do the turn around. It's just I'd like to be within that 20 kilometres of the space station. So again, looking for the rotation, so it's rotating pretty much from right to left now. It's going from top to bottom bottom to top depending on which way you're looking at the spin. I'm sure I should have said that in clockwise and anti-clockwise mode. It's irrelevant really. Quite interesting, you can see lots of little dots moving around that are not stars just under the uh, space station there to the left and the right. That almost looks like someone's
Yes, cause some people have thought about um, the fact that I look like uh, my picture is fading into the distance as if someone in my past has taken me out. Um, I just purely decided that, hey, you don't really need to see my face in this video. So I have tended to just filter myself out a bit. Right, so it's all exciting. Let's go to the commodities market. This is going to sell what I did buy. I don't know whether I'm making any profit on it. It's just to prove that I did land somewhere. I can sell them. So in the real world, if I hadn't cheated to get to this point with the money, I would have been quite keen to see my profit and loss. So I've sold all my things, but the thing I want to see really is my outfitting. Uh, you should sell your weapons first, it would make more sense. I've just jumped straight into here. So do we have anything interesting in terms of class? No, we don't have any better weapons here really. But jumping back out and back in again, I do want to get some utility bits. The menu does seem to get broken at times, but I think that's plenty of people have raised that now. Reinforced alloys, mirrored surface composite. They sound cool. Or well, reactive surface composite. They sound really neat. Look at the price of them, half a million quid. We'll have some of that. And what about support tech? Let me into it. Utility mounts. Oh, I can buy some defence turrets. That's excellent because I'm going to go and see if I can have a fight with somebody. Might as well go and see how this handles in battle. The idea that you can put lots of these things on is brilliant. And I've got a hard point that's empty. Let's go for a gimbaled mod cannon and let's see how that fares. Yep, so I'm pretty loaded up. Yeah, and as it's going to remind me, I need to make sure my munitions are up to date. I've fired some whilst we were out. After I'd taken out, the, uh, flown out the space station last time. Right, so let's go somewhere interesting in this area. So let's go. Let's go to the resource extraction site because that is in the asteroid zone. Let's um, set my fire groups up because I've bought some more equipment. Yep, so I'll, as soon as I start firing, I want my point defences to work as well. Right, let's get out of here then. Let's go off. I'm amazed that the uh, anacondas can go underneath the actual uh, launch pad. So clearly we're getting a bigger docking bay here. Since I've learned about those green lights, I'm assuming they're green and not red. But I just feel more confident since I've seen I looked at those lights flashing. About taking off and landing. It's just a case of, oh, yeah, put shields on maximum, which I already had left on from uh, entering. It's just looking at it, engaging yourself, whether it looks right. Oh, it's gone very, very wrong. 
I'm out, I think. So we have a bit of a boost. Unfortunately, I've uh, only just scraped the paint, which is good. Oh, my gear's still out. Just using the button. For now, I've turned voice attack off just because I lost all my um, bindings, but with beta on now, I better get that ready back into right, place. I do miss R2's whistle. Extraction site is quite close to the asteroids, so it's a nice opportunity to have a good look again. Oh, coming in far too fast. So the proximity alert's going to warn me. frame rate has really dropped off. It can be nice and smooth like that, but then it can get very jittery. I'm wondering whether I'm on the wrong side of the uh, asteroid belt. Speeding carefully. And as we get closer, you can see now the asteroids just above our heads. They're just starting to become a little bit more familiar. So the field of view, in my opinion, is brilliant the way it just all comes in steadily. Turning my view back to so I don't miss my... Uh, if I keep flying as it is, it will automatically take you out of um, the super cruise anyway, because it won't allow you to run into those asteroids. It's just nice to get as close as I want to, uh, meant to for the extraction site straight away. So bringing the speed down, get it in line with where I want to go. It's getting very hesitant, this is the computer coming out of uh, coming out of super cruise where's the asteroid field gone and um, lo and behold here we are oh we're actually right in the middle of it okay let's have a look let's have a look see round what ships have we got to get a bit closer to find out the legal status. Target shields offline. So I'm using my warrant scanner. Far too far out of range. So we've got a criminal. It's changed. Uh, it's very hard to fight with. It's not the greatest ship to to manoeuvre. Oh, and he's just boosted out. So yeah, it manoeuvres all right, but it's not going to be great for a battle. Not certainly in a, 
amongst the asteroids. Look at that, that's just beautiful. Someone just lurking here. Using my scanner. Oh, and he jumped out because I was scanning him. But he was clean. Feels a bit. Ooh. So there is a bad guy here. too close to the action. So we've got another target. to also get the guy but also try and think about these asteroids they won't do this ship any good supercruise and try and escape. Four, three, two, one. Yay! My first kill in an anaconda. That was exciting, was it not? So I want to go back to Eagle, a Beagle 2. My proximity to something's not good. Rings. Let me see if I can safely go and land back in the uh, space station before I sign off. After another successful mission.
Super Cruise. Please don't bug out on me now. Good. Oh, the space station just clicks there. Quite happily revolving and then it seems to go back on itself. Yep, so I've got 16 kills to my name, that's how uh, vicious I've been in the few weeks that we've had this. out here flying with us. the other side of the planet.
been silly. In a rush because my wife's home, I've messed up a little bit there. We've only got five minutes now to dock, but there's still plenty of time. I just put my shields up. Oh, we might as well do a speed run. Ba -bum. too hard to rush in so I deserve that die. Anyway this is Commander Speedy signing off.